Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is. Yeah, KGR, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm working on this uh, 2007 Mazda 5. I'm replacing the the setting belt. So the first thing that I noticed, this vehicle uses uh, two belts. There's one for the AC and there's one for the alternator. So I'm going to bring you guys along and see what it takes to do this job if you're going to do it. So KG, let's go. We're getting it right, right now. Right up here now. This is the belt that I'm trying to take out. So the adjuster is just right here. This is the adjuster. Anyway, this is the adjuster. So, but it has another bed, like I was saying, at the bottom there. So I'm going to bring you guys down there. So coming down here, right, as you can see, I took out the belt already, but I just wanted to do the video to help somebody out there in the future. So the first thing that I noticed, this guy don't have no adjuster for you to take off this belt. So I was like, somebody correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> I have to laugh at myself first. So there is no way to, you can adjust it to take off the belt. There's no way. So I start after I look at it, look at it. So I have to drop the the AC. It's just for four long bolts. Anyway, there's a bracket here as well. See this bracket? Let me show you. See this bracket? You have to take off this bracket. So once you take off that bracket, you can drop the. You have to lose the whole thing for the belt, and you still have to force it out. So that was the way I got the belt out. So once you get the belt out, so we're gonna go on top now. And uh, so on this side, like I said, this is the adjuster. Here. It's very easy. See it? You just pull it like that. Let's see. I can shoot it. I'm working on it. Push it like this. Then you come underneath here and take out this guy. Sometimes you have to have a small head. There you go. Take out that guy right there. It's easy. It's just one pulley. And two pulley as a matter of fact. So you will remember how the thing goes. Let's see if I and take it up from the bottom okay now we got it so you release this tensioner right there all the way so now we can take this off it's just a 14. Uh -oh. all right so this is what i did to put the belt because this uh, adjuster is kind of very tight so you can't be able to be doing it with one hand and put the belt so what i did was i used this thing to like hold it then it gave me the room to be able to put the belt myself as you can see the belt go all the way let me come underneath there show you see right there so that's it right there so now i'm just gonna come here now you use this technique, you're gonna be good. You push this now, and you now release this guy. And you release it, it's just a 14. See, once you release it, it get tight. See there? That's a nice tip for anyone who wanna do it. Got it? Just like that, KG. Subscribe to your boy now. So we're gonna go down it now, put the compressor look at the compressor you see that it's very loose like i was saying before so now i'm gonna go ahead and put the belt all right so as you can see the belt is in now so for you to put the belt you just push this guy out more like this then you take it off easily once you push it put it then you push this guy back lock it right there we will put the, the other four bolt there that will tie it as we tighten it then the, the belt is gonna come tight Right. So just make sure you check it very well that I go through all the groove. See now the belt is nice now. Just put the plates, this plate underneath there now. This guy, put this guy underneath there. And, uh, that will do it.
Well, that's, that's it on this video. Please consider to subscribe to my YouTube. Next time I load a video, you will be the first to know. For more videos, subscribe. KG, love you, peace. We are done.